stop, stop, stop. I know what you're thinking. This video is gonna be all about boba and cotton candy and popsicles, but I'm telling you, there's much more in store. August is a big month and we gotta talk about all the updates, the events, and even a new segment, okay? But I will do a little rap about this delicious drink. Sipping on boba with my guy Red. Eating cotton candy, standing on my head. Ice cream bars, cause I got bars. Brewster's coming, descending from Mars. Whew. At this point in the year, the weeks are just flying by, aren't they? It's already time for a new month, and that means another new Animal Crossing monthly almanac. This time for the eighth month of the year, August. I'm bringing you everything you need to know. That means all of the updates, all of the events, all of the items, the DIY, the NPCs, and every fish, bug, and deep sea creature for both the North and the Southern Hemisphere. I love all of you equally, not playing favorites. But this month, Nintendo played a little bit of a favorite, and their favorite was us, because updates came back. And so we got a lot of fun things to talk about, plus the stuff that doesn't involve the fireworks festival. Oh yeah, there's actually more in store, whether you are a new new or old Animal Crossing player. We've even got a new segment this month bringing you even more juicy details on what is going down in the present and in the future. So don't go anywhere. So what's going on everybody? It's Eggman Switch Wars. I love you guys a lot. Also, we're doing another giveaway this month. So there's some extra oomph in this awesome party. Let me know in the comments down below what you're most excited for in the month of August and smash that like button if you're still playing Animal Crossing. I know that I am. I want to get in that pool right now because it is hot outside and it would be so darn relaxing. Sadly, that update is not a part of the game. So instead, let me help you get something. All right, this month we're giving away a Lexar Play Card, the best, fastest memory card for Nintendo Switch. You know, your Switch doesn't have a lot of memory inside of it. It needs a boost and this will help you store all your Switch games pretty much forevermore, because we're giving away a one terabyte memory card. That is absolutely massive and has a huge value. I mean, just look up what that costs, okay? All you gotta do is like the video, leave a comment on the video, and then go follow myself and Lexar on Instagram. I'll put the links in the description down below so it's nice and easy for y'all. We'll pick a winner and we'll get somebody hooked up with so much memory you won't even know what to do with it. It truly is such a great prize. Like, I'm so grateful Lexar hooked us up and we made the way to enter super easy. So check that description and get it done. My goal is to do this entire video before that popsicle melts, okay? Let's see if we can make it happen. We're gonna start off with the first day of the month. August 1st houses the first firework festival. And I know a lot of you have already seen this being discussed and even shown off, so we'll roll through it quickly, but I still need to mention it as it's an important part of this month. The firework show event with reds, raffle prizes, boppers, and more. It's gonna occur five times this month. August 1st, August 8th, August 15th, August 22nd, and August 29th. That means starting at 7 p.m., your favorites are gonna be out in the plaza ready to party with beautiful bright lights of pixie dust in the sky. Isabel and Red will be out there all day getting ready for the event. And Red's Raffle is a great place where for 500 bells, you can get a bunch of cool prizes. There are sparklers, fountain fireworks, bubble blowers, Uchiwa fans, pinwheels, tweeters, and balloons that you can trip from. Now, there also are new items this year, as I'm sure many of you know, one of them being the lovely popsicle in my hand. There's also Boba! And I love the boba. And then there, of course, is the cotton candy coming in a variety of flavors, five flavors for each, which is a plethora of items and new treats for you to enjoy. The best part about these is there are new animations in the game, so you can take a lick or a bite or a little, I don't know, like a little ah ma ma of the delicious treat that you have and enjoy it with your villager friends on these Sunday evenings. Now, if you weren't playing last August, you might not know that Isabel has her own bopper prize list, including the bulbs, the flowers, the stars, and the hearts. I am partial to the hearts because it's all about love and kindness in this house. You can use some of their firework designs or customize your own patterns to shoot in the sky and the Able Sisters even get in on the fun by offering some unique clothes available during this time. They've got some kimonos, some kabuki actor outfits, some morning glory outfits, and a whole lot of very cute and colorful sandals even coming in golden variety. But it's not just the firework festival that makes August fun. Let's go through some of the seasonal events. There still is the cowboy festival that allows you to get that er, 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 springy little horse. Now, first up, we've got Coward Festival and Weaver Girl Day, which run from August 5th to August 14th. 
the Celebrate a Chinese Holiday, and they were in the game last year, but just in case you missed them, they do bring back two outfits. It's the Orihime outfit and the Hikoboshi outfit, and they'll be available for about 10 days, so grab them if you dare. Now, I am really partial to Oban, which runs August 10th to August 16th, and this has some of the most tantalizing items ACNH has ever put in the game, because who isn't obsessed with Cucumber Horse? an eggplant cow. I've seen some people disparage them and say, oh my gosh, this is not a big deal. But if you were a fan of Cheese Wheel, then you know how important these small but mighty items can be. Now, Oban is a new seasonal event in 2021, and it celebrates the Japanese holiday where ancestral spirits return home. So these are pretty significant little veggies, and you can get them August 10th. I wish that I could have this moment for life. Ice cream licking with my best bud, Cranston. And some of you, your best bud is Flick. And so there is a bug off for the Northern Hemisphere, August 28th. It runs 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. Same prizes, same stuff, same rules, same ordeal. But if you've missed them or haven't played them or just for some reason are obsessed with Flick and his sad face and just want to play with the bugs, that one will happen at the end of the month. Let's talk seasonal items for a moment, all right? Summer shells are still running through for the north, but the south is about to experience bamboo. That's going to be August 25th is when young spring bamboo kicks in, and you got the bamboo grove wall, the light bamboo rug, the bamboo wand, the basket pack, the green leaf pile, the steamer basket set, the bamboo shoot lamp, the bamboo noodle slide, the pan flute, the bamboo doll, all right? So there's a lot of different DIY for you to grab. You probably have them, but if you are a Southern Hemisphere player that picked up the game recently, I just wanted to let you know because they are a cute set and they can start being acquired at the end of this month. It's almost time for our new segment, which I'm really geeked about, but let's talk updates for a minute. Red, my friend, my cousin, what is going on with the updates? Well, we just got 1.11. They put on a little fancy schmancy blog post and a tweet that was really informative. Their tweet said, hey, we got more stuff coming later this year. Thanks for your patience and support. It's going to be free. And me and the Twa were like, because finally Nintendo communicated with us. All we wanted was a little bit of filling in. All we wanted was them to let us know what was going through their nintendo e minds, and they did. They basically were telling us, like, hey, we have been messed up in our plans. We're working on something bigger and better. Please stand by. Although this update was pretty cute with the different food items and with the Halloween items that snuck their way in. If you missed those, you should definitely check out my video. They're not really August items. They are October items, so I'm not going to put them in this video, but they were part of this update the next update, is there any chance that it happens in August? I'm going to be straight with you. I don't want to mess around. No, there will be no other update in August. There will be nothing new outside of fireworks in August. Nintendo bought themselves a bit of time with their event list that runs until September, and they bought themselves a bit of time with their tweet. So there will be no new updates for August, and there'll be no new NPCs, although I think these NPCs deserve a little love, okay? Isabel don't get out very often. Twice a year, she gets to come out from her cave. Tom Nug lets her stretch her legs, and this is one of those times. All right, it's New Year's, and it's Firework Festival. She gets to bop and bounce and smile at you. The dog doing the doggy do. I love her, and I'm glad she's here. And Festival Red is really cool. I wish more NPCs did this. There's actually two in the game. Can you name them? It's Festival Red, and it's Gullivar. Two different NPCs that have sort of a second form. That's a second named form. Red is looking so much like the schemer he is, but hey, this time at least he's not selling you fakes. He's actually selling you some of the best holdable items in the entire darn game. 500 bells is reasonable. There's a lot of fun stuff, and they added the food items. I'm sad we only get to see this guy five times a year, five Sundays in August, so make sure you make an appointment with Raffle Red and his awesome items this month. It's time for our brand new segment that I'm going to start including every month. It's the happy, happy, happy birthday segment. It's not your birthday, but it might be your friends. All right, let's check this out. August actually has a ton of birthdays, including NPCs, so we're going to roll through it. If you have any of these villagers, say hi. Let me know in the comments down below. Kid Cat, August the 1st. Harv. Oh, Harv. August the 2nd. Anybody visiting Harv for his birthday? I'm guessing he gets very few visitors. So you might want to do it. That might be your time this year. Like, if you're ever going to go, August 2nd might be the day. Vladimir on the 2nd as well. Tad the Frog on the 3rd, along with Benjamin. Bones is on the 4th. Poppy on the 5th. Chester the 6th. Boots and Rory on the 7th. And then Leaf. Did you know Leaf's birthday was August the 8th? Give him a little high five for me. Maybe throw him, I don't know, a succulent. Bud is also on the 8th, Soleil on the 9th, Cole the 10th, Gigi the 11th, Gloria the 12th, Tabby the 13th, Leopold the 14th, Rod is also that same day, and then Wendy on the 15th. Layla, 
not in the game. She is one of the Cap'n crew and not there, but her birthday is the 16th, so we'll pay a little homage. Nate on the 16th, Stinky on the 17th, Rocco the 18th, Tybalt on the 19th, Alice the 19th as well, Lopez on the 20th, Wart Jr. That is a reference to Mario Bros. 2 and the boss Wart, who's an evil king frog. I love that game. I think it's one of the coolest Mario villains that never gets loved. So shout out to you, Wart Jr. Birthday on August the 21st. Rolf on the 22nd, KK. Actually celebrating this month, the 23rd, alongside Nana, Jacob and Nan on the 24th, Tipper on the 25th, Rowan the 26th, Bengal the 27th, Lloyd has a birthday. I didn't even know this guy was alive. I thought he was just sentient, like an AI or something. But he has a birthday, August 28th, along with Chrissy. That's a cute pair. Gruff on the 29th, Hazel on the 30th, and of course, Audie, looking like she's enjoying her summer vacation very much so on the final day of the month. Did y'all see the data mine? Did y'all see that this museum is most assuredly going to be making some upgrades in the next update. Did you see the cafe talk? They're working on camera controls. They're working on dialogue. They're working on all the stuff they need to get the entrance ready. For It's so hard to even say it. I want to believe. I'm 99% sure it's going to happen, everybody. Check out my data mine video if you want to see. But one thing I'm 100% sure of is the bugs, the fish, and the deep sea creatures. We got the bugs, all right? Coming in for the northern hemisphere first, but we will do the south. You've got the migratory locust, the rice grasshopper, and the walker cicada. Not a lot on the new bug front for August, but boy, oh boy, are a lot of bugs leaving, like a ton. So get your nets ready because the common blue bottle, the great purple emperor, all the cicadas, and all the beetles pretty much, including the giant stag, they are going away. So this is your chance to really complete your museum collection. The most expensive one on this list is actually not on this page. It's on the second page of old bugs because you're also dropping the golden stag, the giraffe stag, the horned dynastid, the horned atlas, or horned if you want to be a little less proper, the elephant, and the horned Hercules. 12000 for a lot of these big, juicy beetles that have big pincers that are trying to steal your fun and maybe suck the life out of you, but blathers will appreciate them, so grab them and turn them in. Now, on the southern front, it's not as exciting. The tiger beetle is new, and the Brooks Birdwing, Damselfly, and the Dung Beetle are saying, Ta-ta, I love the Raja Brooks. It's a big, beautiful bug. Grab that. Not worth a lot of bells, but still one to have for your collection. On the fish front, it's a little less, okay? The Softshell Turtle is coming for the north, and that is a really cool item. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Name it Donnie, Raph, Mike, or Leo. The Moray Eel and the Ray are also pretty cool. No one that expensive, uh, but we are saying goodbye to the Killifish, the Frog, the Giant Snakehead, the Napoleon Fish, and the Squid. I really like the frog and the turtle. I think they go well together. Maybe even pair them next to each other in your exhibit. Now, on the Southern Hemisphere, nothing is new, but you are saying ta-ta to the pond smelt and the blowfish. Not so much. Uh, the deep-sea creatures, new in the north is the flatworm, and then goodbye to the vampire squid and the sea pineapple. That vamp squid is worth a lot. It might suck your blood. That's, I know, a Halloween-type thing, uh, but grab it now so you can get it put away, saved for later. On the Southern front, it is going to be nothing new, but... You do have one more chance to grab the Venus flower basket, the sweet shrimp, and the sea pig, which does have a little tiny pink snout and is worth 8,000 bells. So it's more a month of things that are going away. This is kind of your chance to get in there and get juicy with it, collect a lot of stuff, send it to Blathers because he's going to be stressed out in a couple months. He's going to be real stressed out and he's going to be heavily caffeinated. If you get my drift, there are some developments coming that I'm pretty freaking pumped for.